I feel like Charlie would react like me and go, what is fake dating? I don't think he'd engage in that kind of nonsense. Hey, I'm Kat Graham and I play Julie in Love in the Villa. Hi, my name's Tom Hopper and I play Charlie in Love in the Villa. And this is EW's Romance Tropes. Buongiorno, Silvio. Buongiorno, Charlie. I'm just upset about the double booking, which I'm sure Silvio here will clear up for us. Maybe you can share it. I don't want to share it, especially not with Bigfoot over here. She's right, you know. Thank you. Yeah, you've got to hand it to her, otherwise she'd never reach it. Well, there's what maybe we think our character would do ahead of being in a love triangle, and then what would actually happen once we were in the love triangle. So it's hard to say, because I think my character was such a traditionalist that she would be like, well, I would never be in a love triangle because I have the perfect relationship and it's all going to be a court, it's all going to go according to plan. So that would never happen. And if it did, I wouldn't be in it. So that's, I think, what my character would think to, to say. And I think Charlie would probably just double his consumption of wine, I'd imagine. And, uh, and hopefully that would, would clear up the problem. It wouldn't. Um, I mean, he does seem to like to just sit and drink wine with his shirt off. So maybe he'd go one step further and do that. But I, I think he'd probably like to think he'll just sort itself out or he'll just ignore it and hopefully it'll work itself out. Yeah, ignore it, it'll go away. I think that uh, happened to me on my show. Oh, did it? Yeah, it didn't work out. Probably have a lot of inner turmoil about it and have to talk to 50 people about it and then come clean with the best friend first, get the best friend's blessing and then go for it. Yeah, I, I feel like Charlie would probably have every intention of telling the best friend or talking to the best friend, but he, he would never it. find the right moment. So would end up doing something stupid with the sibling and, and then have to deal with it with the repercussions. Yeah, that. that's right. Oh, Julie would be all about that. Julie is the kind of character that would send herself flowers in front of somebody else and be like, oh, my boyfriend, Rodrigo, just sent me these. Don't, aren't they so beautiful? Like that's totally something that uh, Julie would do. I feel like Charlie would react like me and go, what is fake dating? I don't think he'd engage in that kind of nonsense. My character would do it, like fake boyfriend sending flowers, and it would every 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 gift would be more and more uh, expensive. Oh, I just got this car! <laughs> wow, a ring! You just proposed. Like she would just really go for it uh, without any any uh, hesitation, for sure. These are two characters that have a lot of pride, and. They ain't sleeping in the same bed. Somebody's sleeping on the floor. Yeah, I would think so. I think at that time, Charlie, yeah, I don't think he's giving up his bed. Be like, there's a lovely floorboard over there. Oh, I think Charlie would be no bueno. I think he, he moves on pretty, once he's, if it's done, it's done. I think Julie is hopeful. I think she's all about like, I'm just gonna give it one more shot and maybe this time it'll work out. Uh, so I think Julie's the kind to, to try it, to try and see if it'll stick this time. Well, why would anyone make me an enemy? I'm so charming and easy to get along with. So that would never happen. That's what I think my character thinks. I think Charlie would be, because so, I think Charlie in his head thinks he's very stuck in his ways and then everyone else is like that as well. So he'd be like, no, nah, there's no way you would change your mind like that. You would stick to your guns. So whoever's doing that is a moron. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense.